I'm Craig Muzella. I'm Senior Vice President of the Application Platform Business here at Red Hat. So what exactly is data-driven IoT or Internet of Things? Internet of Things are really applications that are built around things and devices. Things such as sensors, mobile devices, monitors, RFID tags, GPS systems, and they help you build applications. Applications in logistics, in smart grids, uh, in utility industry, transportation industry, manufacturing, and retail. But IoT is much more than just a sensor or just a device. The real value of IoT is driven by the data and the new applications that, that use this data. Intelligence from this data is driving new business models and new applications that you never had before in any of these industries. IoT is changing the architectures of the applications and the data centers themselves. Application processing, compute power, storage are now deployed much closer to the devices and closer to the edge and are much more highly distributed. These edge systems are often called gateways and they drive the communication with the devices, they process the data and the events that are coming out of, of, of the devices, they communicate to the back end systems. These gateway systems are structured like other data center technology and they have some of the same requirements. They need compute power and virtualized storage. They need lightweight messaging and integration technology. They need communication with the device to, and the backend system. They need business rules processing for, for affecting complex event processing. And they need data analytics to process the huge volumes of data that are being generated by the devices themselves. And finally, you need a DevOps environment for automating the creation of the applications at the edge and at the back end. Even though the architectures change, the enterprise fundamentals still remain. You need reliability, security, and a stable life cycle. You need reliability, reli reliability to be able to connect to the things and to the back ends. You need reliable uptime of the gateways and the back end systems and many of the gateways are highly remote and highly distributed. You need tight security to uh, cover government regulations, and you need quick security response if there's ever a problem. You need a very, very stable life cycle of the applications themselves because they're highly distributed. You need automated deployment, automated configuration, and you need a well-managed update process across a long period of time. Red Hat provides a, a full portfolio of solutions for building IoT applications to build the gateways and the applications that are using the gateways. We provide RHEL, OpenStack, and virtualization technology for hosting and running these applications at the edge and in the back end. We provide Red Hat storage for managing the large volumes of data that are generated at the edge. We provide Red Hat JBoss middleware including lightweight messaging and integration technology to connect to the devices and the backend systems. We provide complex event processing software and business process management software. And finally, we provide a DevOps solution called OpenShift. It's our platform as a service solution for helping automate the application development process. Open source software is really driving all of the innovation in IoT, much like open source software is driving the innovation in cloud computing, and uh, in big data. Whether it's Linux or KVM, whether it's OpenStack, whether it's Gluster or Ceph for storage, or ActiveMQ and Camel for lightweight communications. Red Hat is the leader in open source technology, and we're at the forefront of all of these innovative projects and communities.